Greetings, everyone, and welcome to the Shiner's new episode here at One Success Mindset on YouTube. I'm Dr. Shine, and I thank you so much for being here tonight. I am in an inspirational position where I just wanted to get on and let you know that you are being thought about. Um, I'm thinking about the shiners and, you know, some of the things you may be going through, you may be experiencing. I'm here to let you know that this too is going to become something that we're going to be able to put in our mental archive and experience to be able to say that we've been there and done that. Have you ever looked at the most chaotic thing in your life and said to yourself, how is this going to end? How is this going to, you know, how, what's going to happen here? Only to find out that you stopped thinking about it. And before you know it, everything was over. Hmm. It's a beautiful time. 2024 is a time that started so peacefully. And it just started roaring like, it just started roaring, right? But we're here. We're here. We're sound. We're solid. We're we're ten toes down. We're we're setting it. We're setting up the standards. We're motivating ourselves through inspiring others. We're keeping ourselves accountable. We're making sure that these situations that come in our lives. When they come, they're so insignificant until within days we've forgotten about them. You know, forgive, but don't forget. Keep your head up. <laughs> you know, we got to forgive and not forget because we don't want to relearn the lesson. We want to be grateful for every single thing that comes in our lives because that is the very thing we needed to get an attachment to so that we can just be aware to recognize it and to uh, accept and embrace it as, yeah, okay, I messed up there. That's where I had a little weakness in my system. And once we embrace that, we can then move to excel it. We can excel by prompting ourselves. I'm not going to let th this game won't happen again. You know, sometimes we cannot always listen to the sob stories. We cannot always wonder how this happened and why they did that and how these you know, situations come in our lives to just show us the things that we're to learn. We're just to observe them and know. You know, there are no, listen, shiners, guess what? There is nothing under the face of this earth that can put us in a position to whereas we can't make our way out of it. Nothing. We can make our way out of any and every obstacle that we face in this world. And there's going to be people that's going to teach you and speak things into these arenas and portals of the internet that may not be genuinely true. They may tell you things that will impact trauma. So be mindful of what you're hearing and what you're listening to and how it's balancing equally with your heart space. If your heart space says, now that's something pure, I needed to hear that. I feel good when I listen to that podcast or that, you know, influencer or that special speaker. I feel inspired. And if it is in alignment with the good that goes with being a part of this world to inspire and to motivate and to elevate you, shiners, that's what you take. But there are going to be some people that's so 
built on their traumatic experience. So in their mind, they're unhealed, they're unhealable. So they're going to be telling you things that sound like it's okay, that sounds like it's all right, only for you to hear it and the seed be planted. And then the next thing you know, there's some chaotic event, some spinoff, something that you wonder, how the hell did I get here? So we are the author and finishers of our physical realm. We possess the God-like source on this physical plane to do what we feel we must do in order to survive here. So if it don't make sense, ah, you shouldn't be listening to it. If it don't tap into the soul, the energy of who you are, of what you know to be right and true, you shouldn't be listening to it. You know why? Because I was just listening to something and it was a podcast and it was talking about trauma bonding and how this trauma bonding can have is that somebody was given false information about trauma bonds. And I said, well, I don't need to hear that. And I immediately shut off the actual video only because I know that that's not the path in which I'm going down. When I start to hear stuff and it stopped making sense to me and I look at the camera or I look at <laughs> the TV and I'm like, mm, that don't sound right. That's the discernment that happens when we believe in our higher power and the purpose of our assignment and the mission that we are to withhold in this earthly plane. I'm telling you, there's a lot of downloads that's coming to me. And the meditation, you know, it's the stillness, having to sit still and just know and just no, because what is going to happen is we're going to start to begin to get re revelations happening to whereas as soon as you turn on the video, you're going to be able to align with what is being said because you are already thinking about it. You manifested the video yourself. Yeah, yeah. And that's how powerful this thing is. And, and you know, I was listening to another, I had a client that was talking to me about how, you know, they've done so much for individuals. They fed them, they've closed them, they've, they've given their last, they've welcomed them into their homes only to be disrupted by the chaos. They've, they've given them, uh, you know, help them with clothes, help them with food, and then the disrespect. See, again, shiners, there comes a time where when a person has to deal with their karmic consequences and we intercede on behalf of just trying to do good, just trying to help, We take on that trauma bond. Now we're bonded in with that energy. We're connected with that source. And that source <clears throat> then takes over everything that we know that this person can be, but they don't know it. I was watching a Judge Mathis show and uh, the wife told Judge Mathis that her husband has been using crack cocaine for the last, I think, five years of their marriage. And he was very egoic, you know. I, I guess the, the addiction hadn't set in totally in his world to whereas he 
still had the looks. He still had the stamina to think fast, but he was going down. He was going down, right? But she said that she wanted a divorce from him and he refused to give her a divorce. Well, to make a long story short, Judge Mathis asked him if he wanted help. You know how Judge Mathis always say, you know, I can help you. He's like, I'm fine. I'm not doing anything. She wants to harass me. Less than a few years later, 35 pounds lighter, more in the addiction than anyone could imagine. This man is now being sued by his sister for not paying rent because they wanted to get him the help that they felt he needed. Through enabling, this sister has destroyed the consequential balance to what his karmic debt was owed. And when he was lacking money, she gave him money. When he was lacking a place to live, she gave him shelter. When he was lacking the ability to um, feed himself, she fed and clothed him. Well, guess what? Judge Mathis told her she was one of the biggest problems in this man's life because she continues to come to his aid and entitle and, and, you know, make him feel as though, you know, here, here, here's help, here's help. But one thing Judge Mathis said that I truly agree with was that if he's not ready for the help, you're wasting your time. If that child is not ready for you to be a parent in his or her life and she or he is running away from home, you can't teach them anything Stop intervening. Stop going into people's homes, pulling the child out of the house to, to, to make them come back home just to have the honeymoon phase until they're tired again and that energy wants to go out there and move and maneuver and do what it wants. Stop allowing your front door to be a revolving door like someone's going into the bank making a deposit, getting a withdrawal, or opening up a new, a new account. Don't allow your door to be used as a revolving opportunity for people to come in and out of your lives. Someone may be dealing with a relationship issue that they know they did the best that they could do. And now because you stand up and you say no more, it's over, now here comes the chaos. Now here comes, oh, you're going to love me. You know, whether you want to or not, you're going to love me. I'm telling you, Shiners, there's so much going on in this world. And we got to be the person willing to say no more. To say no more. You know? We got to say no more with a strong sense of self-confidence. Call it ego if you want. Whatever you want to call it, I don't care. You know, because there used to be a time where when I was looking for your comments, you had nothing to say. Now that I don't care, you want to put it all out there. <laughs> well, right now, you know, it is what it is. I do these podcasts to help me, to help you, to help inspire others, to motivate and move. And please like, comment, and share. Because guess what? I'm going to continue to expose those narcissists and those, you know, people who choose to be controlling and choose to tell people what they better do and what they, you know, bullying people into living. Man, what is that? What is that? If we're living in fear and if we're living under the area of incarceration in a free society, 
something is wrong there. You don't even have to be behind bars, but yet you're isolated. Something is wrong. Now, for those who choose to want to take another person's kindness for weakness, now be mindful, shiners. There are going to come a time where you may sit back and you may be so blessed, okay, where it's going to make you be less in the end. You may be so, you, you, you may have all these material possessions. You may have all these things that you could give just to give. And you think that you're the richest of them all. And all you want to do is now go out there and you want to bling and show off and shine to the degree of, of um, arrogance. You know what's going to happen, shiners. When that happens, the very person that you're blinging to, that you're shining to, on the egoic side, on the arrogant side, is going to take everything you have. Now, it is not the same. When you are healing from within, you are maintaining a position of integrity You are maintaining a position of inspiration and people can take you or leave you right from where you are. You don't owe anyone anything. You're not giving anyone anything. You're just giving the very thing that your soul assignment has you do on the face of this planet. And that is to inspire, empower And motivate those who come to you with the need to want to be, to receive that energy. You don't owe anyone anything. And the quieter you keep your your process, the quieter you stay out of the spotlight, you're still shining. You're just doing it on your own terms. No one knows anything. So no one can defeat destroy, devour, and try to intimidate, mediate, persecute what it is you're doing because they don't even know. They don't know. The only time they know is when you tell them, when you brag about it. You have your bragging rights. Now here comes people trying to take your man. When you tell your girlfriends how good your man is, guess what? That girlfriend is going to want to see what it's all about because we're living in a human existence. Don't fault the girlfriend. Fault yourself for having too much communication with people who have not been qualified to be a part of your existence. They were just supposed to see the blessing. And that's the thing about being blessed. Somebody becomes less in that. And it could possibly be the initiate. I'd rather be empowered before blessed. I'd rather be inspired before blessed. Because I don't want to be less. I want to be more. And these are spiritual rituals that are being spelled upon our lives. Just like when you curse, I try not to, but I'm human and I do get angry at the way society plays the role. And sometimes I got to curse out a manipulator like they just stole some, I don't know, (laughs) some of my time that I can't get back. But what I say is that after it's all said and done, It's over. I let it go. And that's what we got to learn to do. Not allow that to rent space in our minds. And then, you know, um, for those women and men who are dealing with the best friend situation, trying to take your man and all that, let me tell you, you dangle food in front of a hungry lion, that lion is going to bite. Whether it's something that it wants or if it's just something that 
is for the moment. Don't brag about your relationships. You know, don't brag about even the negatives within your relationship because that's one of the weakest points where people see how to take advantage. And when a person does not care about their own lives, they can't care about yours. Shiners, we got to get better in 2024 because I'm telling you, things are going to be exposed to you. You're going to see things open themselves up and you're going to be like, how did I even get here to know this information? How did I, how did, because God is discerning and opening up the portals of communication in the spirit realm to the physical dimension. No one's going to be ignorant anymore. There's no need to be because things are going to be revealed to you. So keep working on you, keep healing, because when you get this information, you better know what you're going to do with it, whether you're ready for it or not. Ready or not, here I come, you can hide. I'm going to find you and make you want me. Yeah. You can run away from this love I have, oh baby. Yeah. You ain't going to be able to run away from it. You may not want to even know about it. Because many of us have put our hands in the, our heads in the sand, right? We didn't want to hear it. We didn't care to know about it. But now you're going to know what you're going to do now when it's all up in your face. And, you know, and this is where the emotion takes precedence. If we don't know who we are, man and woman, know thyself. Know what you're going to do in the midst of understanding that you have been played by someone so close to you that you never would have thought this person would have try to, you know, sell you short, sell you down the river, put you in fraudulent opportunities, just so when she, when the stuff hit the fan, you're the one that goes down. And when you recognize and you see that, and there ain't nothing you can do about it, and the person is still there, <laughs> what you gonna do? How are you going to shine in that situation, Shiner? How is that going to make it to the consequence that allows this person to deal with their karmic vibration? You're going to take it and put the matter in your own hand and lose your own opportunity for freedom? I told you freedom is so extremely priceless. There is no way that you should be willing to negotiate your freedom. For anything that's man-made. Nothing. I didn't know what I was going to talk about before I tuned into this podcast and turned this microphone on and started to talk. But the universe gives the downloads. I'm just the receptacle to it. To provide it to you in a, in a term of physicalness. I hope this resonates with you. I hope you're rocking in the shoes you're walking in. And I hope you're realizing the choices that you make is going to dictate and determine what your consequences are going to be tomorrow. So I hope you're really genuinely thinking about it clearly, transparently, to where you can say, I let that go and I'm still free. Because I didn't do... I didn't bite the bullet. I chose to, to dodge it. I chose not to be a part of that karmic, toxic funk. You know? Sometimes that funk can just make you just throw up. Mm-mm. Nah. See, this is what Shiners is all about. How you shining over there? Why don't you leave it in the comment box? Tell me how you shining. You ain't got to tell me everything because everybody don't need to know everything. 
you know, be consistent. Thank you for being consistent because you're inspiring me to do the same. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for rocking in the shoes you're walking in because you're rocking and you're wearing them. You're doing the damn thing. Put that strut in that step. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hold that head up. Yeah, there, there, there you go. There you go. <laughs> and just know you are not alone. And you ain't crazy. How you like that? That in and of, that in and of itself should be enough to help you sleep at night. Knowing that you made it through this forces expectation and all God wanted to do was just observe it. Have you observe it so you will know. That's all. So you will know. Because you're 100% protected because God's respected is always protected. Thank you so much for being here and we will see you next time. You can't hide, you can't run away, oh baby.